think by supporting the RBG, we're supporting the environment. Because the RBG really is, is about horticulture, it's about conservation, it's about science and education. I believe what the RBG stands for. I've liked how the RBG has evolved and I want to help this organization move forward. It's a wonderful place to bring children. You have nature and you have the smell of nature and you have the beauty of nature. I think it's wonderful for children to have that experience. I think it's a worthy cause to donate to because it's so much a part of um, keeping in touch with the earth, the planet, our, our health. And you might call it the lungs of the community because it's, it's re rejuvenating with all the trees and plants we have here. And it's so important that you can come here and just sort of let your hair down and lose your thoughts in this busy, busy world that we live in. In an increasingly urban environment and society, it becomes increasingly important that there's green space and that people have the opportunity to see how plants grow and to interact as much as that's possible in a situation with green space and with RBG in particular. The uh, RBG is, is a really critical component of life in this area. And, and I think it's, it, it's important that it survive and it prosper and that you do what gardeners do. You have horticulture and you grow plants and you develop new species and that sort of thing. And you do some research. And I think that the, the garden should really make sure they stay a garden. I think it's important and I think the general public will realize how important it is too. And then hopefully it takes on a, um, a broader scope for the whole province, the country and the planet. This is what keeps us going. And so I think this is a very much my motivation in, in keeping the RBG going is to protect it for everybody in the future. The future of RBG is to provide leadership to the community, to show them that we really have to support conservation. We have to support the environment. We have to appreciate just what we have and that we can't pave everything over. And I think that that's very, very critical. We can't be the only species on the planet. We need everything. There's all this interaction. It's important to keep it and preserve it. And I think the Royal Botanical Gardens can be a leader here. Thank you.